My name is Paddy Mills. I'm a Gugura Nagiagal Dawara Meriam man from Australia. Can you talk to me about your experience as an Australian? I guess my experience, I should say, as an Australian um, is a proud Indigenous Australian to begin with. Um, someone with very rich um, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander background, culture and heritage. So the experience is being able to be genuinely connected to the land, the sky and the sea in ways that have very meaningful um, stories and connections to. And they're connections that are, are so strong that it doesn't matter how far you, you, you leave or you go away from home, those connections still, still remain um, as strong as they, they were, um, you know, however many tens of thousands of, of years ago. And using the words Indigenous Australians mean that you talk about two different groups of people, two different groups of Indigenous Australians, one being the Aboriginal people and the other being the Torres Strait Island people. And using those words specifically and, and no other wording um, is, is being unapologetic with who we are. Yeah, and I've, I've also heard you talk about some of the ways that you kind of keep culture with you. What are some of those things and those ways that you keep your culture close? Yeah, definitely. Look, I don't think that, you know, you could get much further away from your upbringing and your, um, you know, traditional culture than, than being in, in the NBA. Now, obviously, it's a platform that I've felt uh, an enormous um, a pleasure. Uh, it's a responsibility, but um, it's an honour to be able to use this platform to be able to um, showcase who I am and where I'm from. But in, in saying that, um, you know, it's, it's, it's tough, you know, this is 16 years um, over here in the US. You know, I, I like to look at myself as a, as a problem solver, you know, someone who likes to solve different equations along the way on, on this journey. And a big part of it has been, you know, how I'm able to stay connected to um, who I am, um, you know, the longer that I'm away from, from home. And I think the, the easiest um, ones that have come across that I've always had from, from a real young age is song and dance and the ability to be able to, um, you know, carry that with me no matter where I am. They're, they're not um, necessarily um, physical things that you have to lug around in a big suitcase and, and travel across the world with them. They're things that are kind of ingrained in you that, um, you know, you're able to you know, pick up a guitar and, and sing those songs or, or perform the actions to a, a, a particular dance. Those things in our culture have so much significant and meaningful stories to those actions and, and words. The, the strength in storytelling um, is is huge and the you know the strength in storytelling from a culture standpoint is how our culture is still alive um, today um, but I think being able to continue that in a in a modern day era is is very important now what stories are, are told and and how you tell them I think is the next level um, so uh, my position of being able to be in a place of bringing people together to help them understand um, maybe both sides of the fence is something that I found a little niche um, in being able to do. But again, I think it's the ability to, to sit down um, and to, to, to listen first and foremost and to share those, share those stories um, both ways. Um, you know, and, and, and this is over a, a cup of coffee, this is looking out into the ocean, this is going out to, you know, deep country and being under the stars. But there has to be an, a, an ability to be able to um, accept and, and hear and 
um, acknowledge and understand what's being said um, first and foremost. So it's 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 storytelling as as simple as as that. But I think what Bellroy um, has always been good at is different stories um, through their products. So so as we move on to um, you know this cool and an unbelievable collection. Um, being able to to showcase Indigenous Australian sto- storytelling through art within their products um, is an amazing, amazing opportunity for um, you know all of Australia to see. Can I ask you about the products? Why them? What what was it about the products that you chose? You know, living on the other side of the world um, in the US. Um, the NBA environment of constant travel, you play 82 plus games throughout the course of, of one season, constant plane rides, bus rides, different hotels. So travel is is a big part of the NBA and, and the schedule in its own is what makes the NBA so tough. So you try to find ways to um, um, help comfort that so that you can make it through Um, not only one NBA season, but, you know, multiple NBA seasons. So for me, it was the the opportunity to be able to um, pick pieces that I actually used. (laughs) From that point on, it was being able to see how we can fuse, um, you know, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander culture within these products um, to be able to showcase artwork that is truly meaningful to um, Indigenous Australians. Can you tell me why it was important to you to have that featured? The journey that I've come on, um, trying to find creative and unique ways to um, consistently educate not only Australians, but people around the world on um, Indigenous Australian culture, because it seems to be always one that um, consciously or unconsciously gets left out. So I think there's there are many creative ways um, in this modern world of of society where you can um, engage and, and and capture an audience for them to be able to um, to learn and 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 want to be. Um, educated on the, these things. You know, this is why I, I, I love this whole deal so much. So I think it was important for me, for this one, to to figure out how can we get both Aboriginal and Torres Strait um, culture combined in one. And, and this is where both Shane and Moana were tremendous in being able to be artists and be creatives themselves and collaborate on one um, piece being able to join both of their artworks together, um, I think is is one of the coolest stories that you know we're all going to be able to um, tell for for years to come. And can you tell me about the um, symbolism of your totems in the artwork that I know are also on your arm? So, throughout my culture, we are heavily influence um, significance. Um, and meaning to family totems. So the ones in particular um, in the artwork is the frigate bird and the sea turtle. And those two in particular are ones that I personally carry with me on a day-to-day basis because they have helped me through this crazy journey of a, um, you know, basketball life across the world. It's identity, um, the, the meaning helps me get through good times, tough times, um, the ups and downs of, um, you know, everything that this brings, adversity. So these family totems, um, you know, have been a big part of my um, success in in my career. So being able to um, have that as a part of this artwork was just a little, um, you know, two cents, I guess, of um, what it's taken for me to get to where I am um, today and and glad that they were both um, put in there as a part of this artwork, yeah. Has your family seen the artwork? Yeah, um, we had a, a really cool experience um, and, and night in in Australia in September last year um, where we were presented with the artwork, which was cool because we were able to do it with Moana up um, on Thursday Island and then down in, in Adelaide with Shane. 
but when I saw the artwork for the, the first time was um, an incredible piece that I've never seen anything like it because it was this piece and then the Aboriginal piece um, which then you saw them two work together to be able to create you know a, a one of a, a, t a kind piece so really special from Team Mills um, part really special for Belroy to be able to, to work like that um, we're about education we're about coming together, uh, unity and, and as one and, and showcasing um, culture and, and identity. So this is very special to be able to do this, um, yeah, for the world to, the world to see. <laughs> <laughs> Mum and Dad, you know, they've been in this space of Indigenous affairs for um, quite some time and put a lot of time and effort and you know, hard work, sweat and tears to be able to better the lives of um, Indigenous Australians throughout Australia. Um, so both of them have, um, you know, a significant amount of experience um, just in that space. So now to, you know, um, be presented with not only the artwork, but the entire collection of, of what we've created with the artists and Belroy. Um, I think for them, it was, it was a little bit emotional um, to see that, you know, things uh, are changing, things are moving in the space of people being open and, and willing to be able to help um, educate, help share the culture of um, what and who Indigenous people are of, of Australia. Um, and to know that it's with a brand that's, um, you know, not only within Australia, but can carry these stories um, globally as well, I think is what um, really hit home for them and, and they were really proud of. So to be able to have um, these pieces come together or to be able to design, um, you know, an artwork, um, you know, with a very proud Aboriginal person and a very proud um, Torres Strait Islander woman come together to create one art piece um, that, is within all the, the, the products of this collection um, was probably my highlight um, of, of this whole process. And this is where I'm truly grateful for um, the collaboration with Belroy because um, this is what, um, you know, closing the gap and um, reconciliation and education is, is all about, bringing people together um, to share stories.